The headlines on Sky News with Dina Campbell. Internet trolls will soon face tougher penalties. Under government plans, police will be given up to three years rather than six months to prosecute them for sending abuse online. The idea will be debated in Parliament this week, along with proposals announced in March to up the maximum sentence trolls face to two years. I think longer prison sentences aren't going to help the problem. I think what we actually need is better training for the police, better reporting systems, and also victims being taken seriously even when they're not celebrities, even when they're not in the public eye. A review of footballer Ched Evans's conviction for rape is reportedly going to be fast-tracked. The investigation could happen within weeks rather than months and could see the former Sheffield United striker's conviction overturned. He was released from prison on Friday after serving half of his five-year sentence. He says he is ashamed of his actions but continues to protest his innocence. Tests are being carried out to discover whether human remains found in the U.S. state of Virginia are those of a missing British-born student. Hannah Graham hasn't been seen for more than a month, and thousands have taken part in searches for the 18-year-old in the weeks since her disappearance. A 32-year-old man has been charged with abduction and intent to defile the teenager. Police say Jesse Leroy Matthew Jr.'s arrest has also been linked to an unsolved murder in 2009. At least 20 people have been reportedly injured in Hong Kong following renewed clashes between pro-democracy campaigners and riot police. According to medics at the scene, some demonstrators needed treatment for head injuries after officers with shields and batons moved into a crowd of protesters in the Mong Kok district. In a statement, police have said that they'd used minimum force as protesters suddenly attempted to charge their cordon lines. A Caribbean cruise ship at the center of an Ebola scare is expected to arrive back in Texas later this afternoon. The Carnival Magic was refused permission to dock in Mexico after it emerged a passenger on board had handled samples from the Liberian man who died from the virus in Dallas. The healthcare worker who volunteered to quarantine herself has been under observation for the last few days but has so far not displayed any signs of the disease. Residents on Bermuda are clearing up after the island was battered by Hurricane Gonzalo, which is now on its way towards Britain. The giant storm knocked out power for most of the island, with strong winds ripping up trees and damaging buildings, including Bermuda's main hospital. Wind speeds of up to 110 miles per hour were reported, making it the strongest storm to hit the British Overseas Territory in a decade. A comet the size of a small mountain is due to skim past Mars this evening. It's a once-in-a-million-years encounter which NASA hopes to photograph with their spacecraft. The siding spring, as it's known, is not expected to come anywhere near colliding with Mars, but could reveal clues about the origin of the solar system. It's thought to have formed billions of years ago. And don't forget we'll have full coverage on Tuesday on Sky News as the judge in the Oscar Pistorius trial sentences the athlete for the culpable homicide of his girlfriend, Reva Steenkamp.